What's up? Let's start this video off with a joke. Why did Ron Artest leave the game so early? He wanted to beat the crowd. <laughs> What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB video, man. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. If not, 24 hours in a day, man, make the best of it. But today, man, 2K decided to drop the final set of the NBA 75 theme, which honestly has been going on for like 20 years. So I'm glad they're done with this and they can actually focus on all the season five stuff. But among the drops that we got today, 2K finally decided to drop the best center in the game this is the kind of stuff that happens after the 250k tournament the cards are just cracked beyond belief now you did have to lock in this 1970s set in order to get them and i'm sure when you guys think best center some of you guys are probably thinking shaquille o'neal hakeem olajuwon bill russell kareem abdul jabbar but what if i told you guys it's somebody completely different with an afro ladies and gentlemen let me introduce to you, drum roll please, Dark Matter Artist Gilmore. That's right, man. There's a new man in town with an afro and his name is not Kareem. It is Artist. In fact, they decided to restrict this card from playing the power forward spot. It looks like 2K is juicing the most random people this year. Y'all saw last week they finally showed love to Patrick Ewing and that man's one of the better bigs in the game now. Well, Artist Gilmore is here to run the streets. The question is, will this card be worth picking up? Well, that's what we're here to find out. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, man. We recently just hit 296K. Y'all been going crazy, so thank you very much for that. And let's aim for 1,300 likes on today's video. And I got y'all with a no money spent video later today. But with that being said, man, let's get right into the stats. So, 99 offense, 99 defense, standing at 7 foot Two. This man is basically Kareem with the left hand, 240 pounds. We get into the stats and, and they just make no sense. 93 driving layup, post game is nuts, 91 mid range, 83 ball for artists. I thought that was gonna be like a 75. 80 is stupidly generous, 89 free throw, 90 driving dunk, 95 standing. He's got a ball handle decent enough where with a coach, he can actually speed boost. That's crazy, the defense is, 95, 92, 87, and 98. I mean, what are you gonna do there? This man can guard the one through five. Insane rebounding. The speed surprised me even more. Like, th there's really almost no weaknesses to this card. 88 speed and acceleration, 82 speed with ball, and you can boost that with the shoe. Great lateral quickness, solid mental game. You go all the way down on the tendencies here. 95, 99 shot contest, and 99 block. This man is going to be a criminal. And then you get to the badges, 24 Hall of Fame badges and 21 gold. We got Hall of Fame brick wall, post spin technician, drop stepper, put back boss, the rim protector, chase down artist, box, clamps, defensive leader, interceptor, intimidator, hook specialist, posterizer, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post lockdown, tireless defender, worm, back down punisher, rise up, dream shake, unstrippable grace under pressure, and hustler. I mean, top to bottom, man, this card's crazy. All he's really missing as far as a Hall of Fame badge that I'd give to him is probably gonna be Hall of Fame catch and shoot and this card is going to be a problem we keep going down he does have it on gold you got the corner specialist as well acrobat pickpocket pick dodger you got the bailout needle threader set shooter unpluckable hot zone hunter mouse in the house bullet passer i mean guys all around man there's really not many weaknesses to this man yes he's gonna be missing a ton of badges but a ton of the badges you also don't need because he's a big man only things i really recommend you give him off the bat is definitely gonna be that glue hands definitely recommend you don't give him dimer because i don't think it's like that this year limitless spot up is definitely gonna help your three pointers chef i don't really think you need because if you're shooting moving threes with artists you're simply just a sociopath but uh yeah man quick first step wouldn't be too bad either dead eye and sniper i definitely recommend and it's not to say that his jumper is bad it's just obviously not the greatest but yeah man artist Gilmore on paper guys he looks nuts he really does look like he's by far the best center in the game but the question is is he that good that he's gonna be worth locking in that's what we're here to find out man without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into a game and let's see what mr. Gilmore here can do for us today let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another htb gameplay artist against hakeem olajuwon one of the better centers in this game catch and shoot to start the game and all three of those are going down man yo artist is gonna be a problem and he's gonna snag like every rebound because he's seven foot two 
Throw it in here. Oh, I thought he'd throw it. Ah, oh, I was late. Let's do this. Bro, the game's been on for two minutes and we full core pressing already. That's nuts. I'm losing my voice. Hit that screen real quick, though. Thank you. Throw that missile to Patrick Ewing. I see you sagging off of him, man. Come on. It's an artist gameplay, but the whole team's got to eat. Having to deal against a full core press is definitely going to be annoying. Make him hit that screen, though. We're running in circles all the way, trying to draw some kind of foul there. We got some free throws. Right now, I'm losing my voice, but... Yeah, this guy does not want me to have fun with Artis. And that's all right, because at the end of the day, Artis is going to get his. I will make that Hakeem Olajuwon my child. This man is drop-stepping me to death. Good defense there by Artis. How? Oh, my God. If we didn't get that rebound, I would have lost it. LeBron, catch and shoot in transition. That's a big time three. On the bright side here, we get to debut Artis' defense. A little pick and roll here. Force the switch. Thank you. Artis, get in there and work. He wants to sit in the corner, that's fine. <laughs> Big boy, get in the paint and give him buckets, man. Seven foot two for what? Good defense, throw it inside. Good defense, Artis Gilmore is him. Kobe in transition, that's an open three and that's going down, man. Seven foot five wingspan for a reason. You know exactly how we get down, Artis. Force him into the screen. If we get the switch, Luca stopping. Pop that three, that's a green. I'm not gonna let you sit on Hakeem for 20 minutes, my guy. Got ourselves a nice little lead right here. Luca stopping, popping. That's another green in transition. Hey, if you want a full court press, man, be my guest. In the second quarter here, gonna try to get some kind of pick and fade here with Kobe, or I get an open three. Yo, he's literally just sitting on his center and it is killing his defense. Porzingis is way too small of a body. I'm telling you right now, Porzingis is not going to be able to guard me. One pump fake, that's all it takes. Go under, and that's an easy layup. So far, this guy's off ball really hasn't been a concern. The only thing that sucks is I can't get any threes with Artis right now. Haven't felt the need to bring the bench in here yet. Beautiful pick and pop. Catch Artis from way downtown! Dime me, mama! Yo, Artis is like that, guys. He's simply just like that. Good defense, good defense. Get there. Good defense there by LeBron. That's not going to work out. Get there. Good defense there by LeBron on the help. Come on, where are we going here? That's Kobe in transition. Artist the dimer. Give me all three of those. Give me that. Good defense, bro. Artist is the best defender in this game. The best defending big man. Let me correct myself. This card is doing everything. Pump fake. Go to Artist. Artist to Luca. Pump fake that right back to Artist. Easy mid range. That's another green right there, man. 12 points, three rebounds, and one assist. We're gonna get the bench in here pretty soon. Artis, why are you cutting to the basket? That's an open lane for LeBron, pump fake. We're just gonna have to cook inside the post there. That's another easy bucket, but uh, so far this guy's defense hasn't been anything crazy. We can't shoot as many threes as we like, but that's okay. This pick and roll offense is clamped too. Look at that. Good defense there, boys. Good defense. Trying to get something going on offense. This guy's got on a big run. If we can force the switch there, we're big chilling all the way through. Big artist with a dunk right there. All we gotta do is get some stops because we're playing kind of sloppy right now. Got seven seconds here to make something work. Little catch and shoot for Mullen on the inbounds. That's going to be a big time three. Beautiful screen right there by Artis. Definitely not our best quarter right here, but that's all good. Hit that screen. Come on. Run all the way to the basket. Got to draw some kind of foul. It's been a very physical game. I can't get anything to go. His team has stepped it up like crazy in the second half. And yeah, that's all I can really say, man. But Chris Mullen, get a couple buckets here. Hopefully our bench can hold it down for just a bit more and then get our starters in for the fourth quarter. All right, guys, in the fourth quarter here, trying to clutch out some defensive stops and we're holding it down right now. He's got five seconds to make something happen. He's probably gonna go for a moving Denied. shot, trying to get the block there and LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, Artis Gilmore has just been injured. You can see him holding his shoulder there in transition. Not sure if he still is, little catch. I get fouled right there, but they're probably about to take Artis off the floor, and indeed they do. That's the thing about using a player for a whole gameplay. If they get injured, it's a GG. Get it inside to Yao Ming. This man is an automatic bucket. Give me that to steal. Good def- Oh my God, Patrick Ewing, the wide receiver. Luca, you gotta go into a three-point line. Catch and shoot. Give me all three of those. Look at that. He's gonna try to post me nope. up the whole time. Good defense there by Yao Ming. That post game, it doesn't work here. It doesn't. If you wanna sit on your power forward the whole time, that's perfectly fine. Hold this off ball deodorant. Look, go James for three. Bang! Oh, I thought that missed. I thought that missed. That was about to be so awkward. The thing about going up against people is that it's so much easier when you're not doing a game, but look at that. Luca's wide open, and this guy has no idea. When I'm not doing any sort of gameplays, half these opponents, 
They, they can't keep up with me. Dot the corner, LeBron Raymond James giving me a big time three. And at this point, we're just doing this for artists. My players have been getting injured so much recently. Ever since that 250K weekend, man, weird stuff has been happening. Throw it here. Good defense. Come on. Yao Ming sees that. All the way in transition. Don't jump now. He jumps. That's an easy dunk. And uh, yeah, we're almost up 20. Finesse that. Thank you. Hit that screen. Stopping. Luka Doncic for three again. And that's going down. Stop sitting in the corner, man. Just stop it. All right. So uh, GG's to my opponent. We're going to win this game 69 to 53. All in a day's work. Artist was doing his thing prior to getting injured. And the team did its thing to finish it off. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. And let's see our boy did. All right, and as you guys can see, man, the guy with the fro in 16 minutes didn't get to play even the full game and still absolutely dominated. 18 points, six rebounds, one assist, three steals, and two blocks. That is why we love the seven foot two, seven foot five wingspan. It just makes him trouble. On top of that, eight for 13 from the field. Now, he did have four turnovers. Big men were not meant to handle the ball pause on that but at the end of the day he still did his thing two for four from three i wish i got more open shots because his jumper is so easy it's not the fastest but it's so easy no free throws this game had one dunk and he's gonna walk out of here with an unknown right elbow injury which actually happened to Shaq in my legacy series so What's up with all these injuries, man? But all around though, guys, even though artist Gilmore came out here, he had 18 points, didn't go off for like 50 or 60 points or anything. Guys, he is still the best center in the game. You guys got to keep in mind with the way the guy was guarding me, I couldn't just go off with just artists. He was a good enough player to realize that I'm not going to get 50 points dropped on me with one card, which is why the rest of the team ate at a very high percentage. You saw what Luca did at the end there. I could have been doing that at any point. I was just kind of forcing the ball through Gilmore. But in my opinion, this card is hands down the best center in the game. And honestly, I don't see how any centers coming up anytime soon can be better unless they get their jumpers changed. But artists, even with his own default jumper on quick, is a problem. The only card that might be better is going to be Dark Matter Kareem. And that's assuming Dark Matter Kareem is really like that. Because one thing I like about artists over Kareem is both of them are going to be seven foot two. Both of them have an insane player build, really good wingspans. Both of them are going to be fast. You saw Gilmore already has the speed and he's got the three balls. So I really don't see what Kareem's going to have to to offer that's gonna make me want him instead of artists on top of that Gilmore is actually a heavier player so he doesn't get back down as easily in the post now obviously the pros the cards coming out in the future is they're gonna be auctionable you can sell them back this card is more of a lock-in but for how good this card is similar to Cedric Maxwell and Chris Mullen they really might be worth it purely for the longevity that they're gonna have in this game this is the most balanced 2k we've had this year as far as content and OP cards so I really don't see how there's gonna be a card that just completely eclipses artist Gilmore as far as just being a level better artist is gonna be able to compete with so many centers for a long time and me personally I'm glad I locked him in but I would recommend you guys wait until Friday see what kind of content comes out at the end of the day no card is technically worth locking in because cards will eventually come out that are going to be at that level but an artist that is actually dominating my team right now you love to see it but uh, that's going to do it for today's video guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man 300k on the way soon i appreciate you guys as always and take care